If you ask me what my favorite cuisine is, Italian would easily make to top three. Osteria Francescana was voted the best restaurant in the world and holds three Michelin stars. It's a shame the restaurant is under construction, but anyways, va bene, let's take a peek at his magical Italian kitchen. Massimo's restaurant takes a unique approach, begins with a dessert baba, featuring olive cream, lemon, and capers. Then we have a seafood sandwich on the side. Our special clear soup captures the essence of panzanella salad in a unique and unexpected way. You can taste all the ingredients in one go. Then we have panettone, an Italian sweet bread loaf filled with lentils and pork sausages. This delivers a delightful, sweet and savory flavor. What's better? It's warm. I felt like I'm in heaven. It's delicious. Next, we have a seafood salad, which is oyster mousse, a light and flavorful composition with caviar, foam, crispy seaweed, and a hint of the sea. A perfect start of your taste buds. Moving on to piadina, crispy bread topped with rucola anchovies accompanied by a unique white sauce made from cheese water. The cheese water is mild, creating this perfect balance that just hits the spot. Now savor the famous risotto with eggplant parmesan, where it also works from bottom up, have a layer of risotto on the bottom, and then you have eggplant parmesan crust on the top. It's a perfect balance of texture and flavor, and no wonder it's famous. Now let's embark on this intriguing culinary journey across Italy. First up, you have pasta, showcase the essence of Northern Italy, then move on to central part and the Southern region through distinct elements. Northern part has the robustness of mushrooms, and then the middle part, which is where Modena is located, you have the heartiness of tomatoes and eggplant. And then on the bottom, you have Sicily representing the dry pasta in the south. It's fascinating how he showcases all the flavors in one plate. Now, one of my personal favorite indulge in a unique creation, a turbo fish surrounded by pork, complemented by green sauce infused with rosemary and fennel seeds. I felt like I was eating porchetta, but then there's the fish flavor, and then you have crispy crust on the outside. All the flavors and textures exploded in my mouth. Another astonishing play on beef without actual beef. Brussels filled with cream, smoked tomatoes, and then cooking juice of Florentine steak sauce. A perception of indulging in grilled meat with every bite. Now delve into a green themed experience. Chef Massimo invites us to imagine being a cow, indulging in freshly cut grass and savoring a blend of ricotta, yogurt, like white milk. It's fascinating because he tricked us again with thinking this is a dessert, but it's actually not. No visit to Italy is complete without spaghetti. This main dish is a dessert twist, featuring the unique combination of sour cherries from Modena and bitter almonds made with sauce from Sicily and red peppers from the north.
transiting from sweet to savory again, experience dessert with a starter touch. Then you have chicken liver macarons and then you have cannoli with carbonara. All these are beyond imagination. Tonight's wow dish is a tomato dessert crafted with white chocolate and tomato puree. It literally is the combination of my two least favorite ingredients, tomato and white chocolate. But the moment I put it in my mouth, I am in love. We have the crispiness from the white chocolate and then ice cream mousse texture on the shell and then the sweetness from the tomato puree in the inside. The flavor is still lingering in my tongue until today and it's definitely my favorite. Wow. I never like tomato, but this is something else. Mm -hmm. Wow. Chef Massimo also created a complete special menu for my friend with allergies. Undoubtedly a genius. I guess that's why it's world's number one restaurant. The whole experience was dreaming it's incredible to be honest every single dish i enjoyed it especially the dessert i was it was very unexpected and chef massimo butura came to our table and he was so friendly um the reservation is a pain to be honest you have to really reserve six months in advance and uh, but i think it's definitely worth it um, you have to rate for this restaurant it will be a 11 out of a 10. I would definitely come back again if I could be able to make the reservation again. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.